Guys, we're out here on a weekend, Saturday. Uh, it was a little ashy, a little smoky this morning, but um, overall it looks pretty good uh, that day on there. So we're in September. And guess what? I saw the weather forecast and it's the last day that we're gonna have hot weather. So the rest of it's gonna be mild. It's gonna be awesome. And it's just gonna, we're getting ready for it to enter that fall. So right now, what we're doing here is what we did is we figure out our wall. And we, in this case, we use the Murata retaining wall block from Western Interlock. So we figure out our levels. So we marked our level here after marking this, cause we're gonna have a paver patio in this area here. So we wanted everything kind of slope this way. So we marked our lines where we're gonna lay our block and then our cap here. So when we lay the Murata variable block that doesn't have a lip in the back, it's basically like a CMU unit. You fill the core fill in here. But you guys can see we fill it with a rebar and that rebar gives it more reinforcement and typically what i like to do the process my process is to add concrete concrete to fill up all the core fill so i'm gonna add concrete here with gravel and then core fill again with concrete so that way this whole block is filled and it's a solid unit and then we use super wet adhesive glue super wet adhesive glue to glue all this stack up our blocks Reinforce this with rebar. I typically like to reinforce every layer with rebar. That's the way it gives the wall extra strength. But since I started using the Murata wall block this year, it's been an excellent product. Um, that we, I mean, we're going to continue to use it for these type of situations. So it's perfect for that. And we'll see how this one turns out, guys.